Okay everyone, so in this video I'm going to add blocking to a wall. So you see this wall here, it has blocking already in it. Uh, I'm going to erase that in a second, redraw it. Uh, notice that the blocking is staggered. So one go, one's down, one up, one down, one up, and that's just to help nail it from the ends. Okay, and uh, also notice that it's kind of halfway up the wall. Okay, so let's get rid of it here. And um, one second, and that little guy right there, hit delete. And uh, I'm going to take the tape measure. And I'm going to measure up halfway on the wall. Okay, so in this case, uh, mine is three foot nine and a half. You have to measure your wall to determine where uh, the halfway mark is. Uh, but basically, uh, you mark halfway up the wall. The next thing to do is to take a tape measure and go in here, and um, you're going to draw a line across the face of a stud like that. And just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to get rid of that first line just to make this uh, nice and easy to follow. Uh, tape measure is next. I'm going to rise up 1.5, one and a half inches, and then I'm going to take um, I'm going to take uh, this rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw a piece of blocking. So this is my first piece of blocking coming across here like that, and then I'm going to make it a group. One, two, three. Make it a group, and I can get rid of these lines now. And then I'm going to I'm going to redraw the first line. So I'm going to take the tape measure tool. I'm going to double click on this edge like that, and that reestablishes that first line that I had drawn. So now it's time to run the blocking down the wall. So notice I started it in the in the center of the wall, and the reason I did that is because all these stud spaces here are typical. They're all the same. Uh, so I didn't start at the end. I started here, and I'm going to work my way to both ends. So watch what I do now. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go down here like this. Just practice. Remember your moving skills, okay? To move something, you grab it where you grab it at a corner or an intersection. I want it to be above this line. So I'm going to place my cursor right there to place it. So I'm going to grab it right where it's, it's supposed to be uh, grabbed. And then I'm going to move it, copy it. And I'm going to place my cursor right there. So don't worry about where the object is, worry about where your cursor is. I'm going to place my cursor right there. And that puts it perfectly. Okay, now I'm going to grab the next one. And I'm going to grab the next one up in the top corner and copy it and bring it over here. And then I'm going to work the other way before I do those ends. Okay, so I'm going to grab this here, copy it, place it down there, and then grab the bottom. I'll scroll in a little bit here so you can see. I'll grab the bottom here, move it, copy it, place it up there. And then we'll do the final one here, grab it move it, copy it, and put it there. And then you notice, because this first stud bay is, is is not as wide as the others, then I have to change this. So I'm going to open it up, double click, open it up, open the group. I'm going to pull this out like that, okay? And then I'm going to push this in to there, and then I'm going to push it back to there. Three little steps, and that piece of blocking fits like so, okay? Similarly, down at the other end, I'm going to grab this, so the, where's the move tool? I'm going to grab this here. I'm going to copy it, place it up there. Okay, place it right there. And then this one's a little bit easier. I don't have to manipulate this one. Just double click, take the push pull, click once, put the cursor where you want to end up, click again, and I'm done. Okay, and that is blocking a wall in a staggered version. Okay, thanks very much.